Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome to Let's Play Rogue Legacy. Now, I've been waiting to do videos for Rogue Legacy for absolutely ages because it is so much fun. I've been playing it for the last few days as I've been sick, and I am back now, kind of. I'm kind of deaf in one ear, so talking right now is a little bit odd. Um, should get that checked out, I suppose, but uh, I'll get around to that. But here we are, we're back again, I can talk, which is the most important part of these videos, I assume. Unless you're just watching it for the gameplay, then what am I even doing here? Uh, but I apologise that I'm going to be talking through all this whole thing, because it is an adventure that I wish to take you through. An amazing adventure. An adventure of betrayal and dying a lot. Oh man, do you die a lot. This is actually different from the demo version I showed off. These uh, stained glass windows weren't here before. Hello, my king. How are you doing today? What's that? Got an itch on your back, you say? Okay, let me deal with it. Oh, oh dear. Welcome to Let's Play Rogue Legacy. And we're going to start our legacy with this handy dandy hero right here, Sir Lee. And we have our training dummy here. Training dummy, why you do this? Blarg, why? That tickled. Oh god, it hurts so much. Oh god, try again. Thust thou even hoist? I don't know. I, I guess I, I do. We're going to enter the castle. And for those who are unaware of what Rogue Legacy is, it is a roguelike, or as they like to call it, a roguelite, which means basically you would start off fresh. It's not, the reason why it's not a roguelike is because a roguelike itself actually starts you off with nothing, whereas this has a lot more progression to it. Oh man, look at these skills. This is what I've uh, accumulated over the time, so... I would tell you that I'm glad that I am not going into this completely blind, because if I did, my god, the videos that... There would be plenty of filler videos in a series like that where I just would not make any progress, and I'd literally just go into it dying over and over again, and uh, basically just having full episodes of farming for gold. Or I could totally do that off, off screen, I guess, which is probably what I will be doing. But man, that would have been a series that could have gone on forever, so I'm kind of glad I didn't do that. Instead, I'm going into this knowing a bit how the mechanics work and how to uh, basically fight a few of these things, because it makes it at least a little bit more watchable that I don't fumble around as you're shouting at me in the comments section. But yeah, as I was saying, the rogue light element comes into the fact where this is... Oh, hey! I'm actually surprised I see a carnival right away. I'm usually terrible at these things. Hey there! Care to test your dexterity? Yeah, sure. So, we have a few knives there. We have 12 and a few... Wow. A few targets to... Wow. A few targets to... God damn it! Come on! Okay, there we go. I don't think I'm even going to make all these now. Ugh. Ugh, I'm terrible at this. Anyway! Ah, fuck it. Just throw him willy-nilly now. I did better doing that, actually. Couldn't even hit eight targets. I'll hit you right in the face! But the idea of a roguelike is that every time you die, you essentially start off with nothing and continue to go through trying to advance and get better and better as you go. Trying to find and use whatever available tools and equipment you can during the run. So where this differs is because you gather gold and upgrade yourself and your equipment and your abilities and runes, you essentially aid yourself at the beginning of each new journey. So it's not quite a roguelike, it's more of a rogue light, where it kind of takes the same idea, but has a twist on it to try and make things uh, at least have some progression, so you can feel yourself getting stronger and uh, progressing throughout the castle. Now, what we're doing essentially right now, because oh dear, I I would find it very impressive if I was to find and beat the first boss with this first character. Right now, what we're trying to do is basically gain as much gold as possible. And the best way to do that is to defeat enemies, uh, destroy random things you find just kind of hanging there, all the random objects that could have a chance to drop gold, and as well as find chests. Uh, of course, if we come across the boss area, then that would be pretty useful because they usually have extra chests lying around. So, this is a fairy chest room. Fairy chests are... Okay. 
No, Sir Lee has been slain by a zombie. But yeah, as it says there, fairy chests hold all the runes in the game. Runes will help you immensely, and they do. If you didn't watch my video before where I showed off the runes, basically they are a permanent... Well, not necessarily a permanent, they are a flexible upgrade uh, to your character to be able to apply them to various armor pieces to give you extra abilities. So from here, we can choose our air, and we have a few available uh, classes, or two. The knave and two barbarians. The knave is a risky hero with low stats, but can attack with very good critical strikes, but the barbarians are walking tanks. Probably a lot better for us when it comes to trying to farm at the beginning, so I'm going to pick one of these. Uh, this one has no particular traits. This one does actually remember things uh, with extreme clarity, <clears throat> which basically means if there are enemies in a room, the map will pinpoint where each enemy is in that room. And uh, the knave has, you can't see in 3D, and chickens freak us out. Okay, I almost want to play that one just to show off that one. And I'm not going to try and say that trait, because I'm not good with words. Which is funny. So, here we are at the main mana section. And this is where you spend most of your gold unless you're buying, like, equipment. And we need to buy the smithy to unlock the equipment area. Smithy unlocked. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a vir the, the virtue with the f what? That's a lot of V's. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory, which is a uh, we got blueprint on the uh, on the run a moment ago. And from here we can also upgrade our maximum health and mana. Uh, health is a very important thing, especially with a tank. So I'm actually going to throw three upgrades into that already. Because the longer we can... Uh, I swear this ear is completely messing me up when it comes to talking right now. So when it comes to exploring the castle, more health is pretty useful early on. And we can actually get a better sword straight away. We can get the squire sword, which is uh, an increase to our damage already. Do we have anything else? What did I unlock before? Did I unlock a helmet or was it a cape? I don't actually remember. Well, it doesn't seem like it was a cape, apparently. Hmm. So let's have another quick run into the castle. As you can see, we have a, a fellow here, the Charon. One must pay the toll. And we have to give him all of our money to actually enter the castle again. Now, this comes into play a little bit more later, where we can kind of uh, trick him or basically convince him to pay less gold. Oh yeah, we haven't actually checked out the diary. Journal entry one. Treason! An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him, blah blah blah. You can read this if you want. I was going to, but then I realized I didn't care. <laughs> Plus, I, I don't, I generally don't read things like that. Uh, oh god. In videos, anyway. Uh, unless you particularly want me to. I don't know if there's a preference there. Maybe voice your opinions in the comments below. Chicken. Okay. I'm hoping this run lasts a little bit longer so we can get even more gold to upgrade our stuff. And Oh wow, we're actually running into quite a few chests already. So that's pretty handy. Ow! That was not friendly, okay? I can't remember what I was saying before. Oh yeah. Uh, occasionally, it was that guy at the beginning where we have to give him all our gold. That can be a bit of a pain, especially if you're like a hundred away from something and you've got all this gold in your inventory. Okay, let's try and defeat these guys. Oh god. And uh, yeah, you say you've got like a thousand gold in your inventory. Jesus Christ, I'm damaging a lot. Uh, you've got like a thousand gold in your inventory. And now he's pissed. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Ah. Da, 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 da. Oh god. Ah. Oh. There was no room to try and dodge that. Lady Sonya has been slain. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that guy at the beginning is annoying. Okay. Risky hero with low stats but can land devastating critical strikes, but he's got the MP and HP pools are swapped. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Uh and a mage with the same thing. Well, at least I'd have a lot of health. Actually, yeah, let's try that. That could actually work out pretty well for me. So I have 500 gold, 530 to be more precise. 
we could upgrade the knight to a paladin, which gives him a block ability. Or we can, uh, let's increase our mana a bit, especially since we're about to use the mage, which means we have quite a bit more health than we usually do with the mage character anyway. Since that last run was pretty short, I'm going to have another quick run. Also, I noticed this is a female, by the way. Notice the facial hair. Lady Charlotte has the beard of legends. I mean, it makes sense. All powerful wizards have beards, you know, female or not. Or is that wrong? I don't know. Oh, really? A room like this to start us off? This is quite annoying purely because of all the everything that wants to kill me. Oh my god. Especially with these spinny fucking doofuses. There's a stupid name for them as well. The only problem is I don't think I could come up with any other name that's better than Doofus. Just sounds dumb. I must say that this particular room layout uh, doesn't come up very often. It's actually one that can be useful for if you have a dwarf character, because there is a way to go at the bottom where you can skip most of this level. Oh, we have irritable bowel syndrome. If you didn't hear the farting a moment ago. Oh god. So, as is the norm for mages, we don't have that much physical strength. Most of our power comes from our sub weapons. But of course, because I have that trait that has swapped my HP and MP pools around, I don't have much MP to use. Which is kind of annoying considering I'm a mage. Probably should have thought about that before I picked this character. Unfortunately, that seems to be one of the things that I tend to do out of habit, is kind of screw myself over when it comes to the traits. Because I just love giving myself a challenge, I guess? And that's kind of cool that this game allows you to do that. It allows you to challenge yourself. You can try and go through without- OH GOD! Damn it. Didn't even think about- uh oh. Just gotta keep going and hope I reach them in time. I'm not gonna do that. Man! That's quite annoying, because that very chest there requires you reach it in five seconds, if you didn't guess that already. And unfortunately, without specific runes, you can't really do that from the very beginning, so that's kind of annoying. But never mind, I guess. Don't know if I'd have enough to unlock that. Oh, hello! We found the boss door. I might as well show off the boss. It's exactly the same as if you saw this game uh, when I showed off the demo. But, uh... Is there anything of value over here? There is a chest. I might as well go and grab this real fast. Will come in handy. There we go. The more gold we can get, the better, especially since I know I'm going to die against this guy. Because I'm pretty uh, underpowered. I'm only level 7. And the levels are generated by what power ups we've got and what abilities we've unlocked and so on. So they do actually mean something, in a way. So let's have a little look at the boss. And uh, the boss is going to have a little look at us, considering it's a giant eye, the gatekeeper. Now, they've actually changed this a bit. Oh, shit. They have actually changed this a bit since the demo version. These platforms are uh, nowhere near as long. And if you fall off them, you have a chance to fall into the spike traps below. So in general, uh, this boss is increased in difficulty slightly. I, I would say that there is a specific class and weapon to use to really uh, make the most of this fight. So I think I'm going to die if I get hit one more time. I'm going to try not to. It'd be pretty good if I defeat this guy with this character. Oh god. It hasn't... Okay, I was about to say it hasn't used the spinny move yet. I was very lucky there. Oh, oh, oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, 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 one more hit. I have one more hit in me. I have two health. Two health. Oh, no. No. I wasn't going to make it. I need double jump, really, for doing that. Ah, oh, we did well, though. We took down uh, half of his health already. Of course, it isn't... It doesn't stick, so I'm going to have to try again. But thank you for watching this first episode of Rogue Legacy. I've uh, been bumbling a little bit, considering things aren't completely correct yet. But I'm hoping to get back on track. I do intend on doing more Chakra vs. Key. Everyone's been asking me about that recently. So I do intend on doing more of that. Hopefully tomorrow, instead of Mega Monday. Uh, I don't really feel like there's much I'm going to have to be talking about over the week. 
So thank you for watching this first installment in Rogue Legacy. I hope you enjoy the adventure as we continue to explore the castle. Do purchase this game. It's available on Steam and on GOG and on Jasura and on their website. And this is a humble bundle. There's lots of ways to get this game and I do wish you can. It's a lot of fun to play. A lot of fun. So I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Okay, thanks. Bye.